Today I would like to discuss with you uh, suturing. First I want to show you the instrument. So I prefer to use a Castro Viejo, a very ergonomic, good in your hands uh, instrument. Then we use a surgical plier, which has these small micro surgical pliers, very gentle on the tissues. And then if we need to, for thin tissue types, we use these like micro surgical pliers also around it. Then from a surgical um, uh, standpoint for sutures, we either have resorbable sutures or non-resorbable sutures. It's pretty easy. When we have a full thickness flap, so anything with implant placement, anything with bone grafting, then we use non-resorbable sutures. If we have anything with split thickness flaps, we move to resorbable sutures. So let me show you first the non-resorbable sutures. A no-no are silk sutures. So those we don't use, they attract a lot of plaque. What we like to use and prefer to use are these here. These are the PTFE sutures. And for our normal GBR procedures, implant procedures, I like to use the, the 3.0. They're a little bit thicker. They really maintain the flap really good together. But of course, depending on the tissue thickness, you can go to smaller 4.0 or 5 -0. And these are the molar filament PTFE. Now sometimes you can also use nylon and there's these premium nylons. You can see that here, Resolon, and they come really, really small. That's kind of the advantage of these nylons. They're more like micro surgical. So it's all, all, almost like ophthalmic. And you can see like, you know, you have larger sizes too, 5 -0. But especially when you have a thin papilla, it's great to have a 7 -0.